It's like, break it down, roll it up. But only if it's the potent stuff. Pull it up in a frozen mug. That purple water got me dozing off. But I got this girl with no clothes at all. Ain't take her to the mall, she still throw them off. Cause she know we all fucking ball. And it made the bitch wetter than Noah's art. But you know the art, know the squad. No coast ho, catch us on the net. Put us on the net. Fuck! Shit, restart that motherfucker. Uh. My alarm clock is buzzing, cousin calling, fussing about this dude who say he owe money's how he wanna hurt him, cut him, but I oughta don't get rustled over nothing. Once I come in, he'll be questioned under rubble. Through my music, I needed to be, I feel like I need to be different. And I guess, like, I wouldn't even say follow the crowd, maybe like relate to other people, but I like to be different, and that's why I create like all these. Different sounding type of, type of songs through different personas. Take example, that kid Kev. Like the that kid Kev mixtape was very. I feel like it was like mostly positive and just like real hype stuff and very knowledgeable things you could get on there. But uh, if you like listen to it through the whole thing, like it it progressively gets darker and it leads into Darko Dillinger. And I am currently working on that EP right now. But Conti is really supposed to embody who I really am. That Kid Kev and Darko are still sides of me, but Conti is the whole. Style, like physical style, is very, I wouldn't say important thing, it's a very culturalistic thing that I take particular interest to. I don't know, man, street art and like, just street wear in general is just a cool ass fucking society of people. Like, everyone in it is very like fucking dedicated and creative. And I like that. Some brands fucking suck, but still they're doing their thing. But shit, call me a hype beast. I love fucking wearing my fucking Supreme. I don't give a fuck what you say. Ninety dollars on the hat, ho, get with it. For the future, I don't really know when I want to stop, honestly. It's like, like, I wouldn't, like, I feel like I wouldn't want to get so big where everybody knows my name and then everybody's talking about me. Because I would like to stay at somewhat of an underground level, but still relevant. But honestly, like, I really, really look up to Kid Cudi. He's a real big influence on me. And that dude sells out stadiums and shit, and honestly, I feel like if he can do it, I could do it. Even if I only, like, am, like, a gold record-selling artist, say, like, even if that. Like, even if my album sold, like, only 10,000 copies, I'd still be happy, because that's, like, 10,000 copies I didn't sell before all this shit, so... Anything's an opportunity and everything's a possibility. No coast is my fucking is for my fucking state, man. Like it's the company with me and various other members of DIY, the music collective I belong to. I love my state no matter what and I really want to represent for the people of Colorado like everybody just thinks we smoke weed, which I do. That doesn't have anything to do with this, though. <laughs> but, like, I want Colorado to be more more known for just, like, yo, we got weed, mountains, and snow, and shit, and it's horrible weather. Like, I want people to be like, yo, fucking, I knew this kid, and he's from Colorado, and he's crazy, and all his homies are crazy. Ain't that crazy? I don't know. It would just be great to finally put on for my fucking city or just even my state in general with the homies and shit. Like, nothing really came out of Colorado, man. We got the Broncos, but I ain't no fucking Broncos fan. But, I don't know, it'd just be really cool to just kind of come out of nowhere, hop on the scene, and people will, like, will try to determine where you're from based on your style and, like, your lyrics and the way you flow. And I feel like people honestly aren't gonna know where I'm from when like they first hear me. Like, I, I'm very heavily influenced by like East Coast rap, but I'm very heavily influenced by West Coast rap. But me and my crew, 
We ain't got a coast. Colorado, no oceans. That's really where no coast came from. It's a very simple idea. We always wear card, man, and that's really what this industry is about. I'm not really in it for the money. I'm really in it because I'm a fan. And I feel like I'm an artist. And deep down to the like most defining sense of me, I'm a fucking poet, man. I just always have something to say. And they just happen to rhyme and make good music.